look! A birth! Fascinating! Beatrice and Dante. Dante is clearly a farmer. Beatrice doesn't give a shit about that. Right. How exactly am I supposed to get every evidence of that? Uh, I mean, she's treating him like shit already. Uh, so, if I just say that she's not gonna be trustworthy, that's not gonna mean a shit to him. A lean jawed, wind edged older man in a cowboy hat and work clothes. He's covered in the dirt of honest work. What can I do for you? Yande Goodman's my name. The lady who left is my wife, Beatrice. She, well, I suppose she had a right to be mad, but farm ways die hard in an old farm. Her. Uh, your wife is very expressive. Uh. She's just a little high strung sometimes, but I love her anyway. If you see her, tell her to come home. Looks like farming has paid off for you. It, it, it's, it it's, is my life's work, and it's been good to me, though I'm not liking it so much now. Shouldn't uh, make the deal with the leather jerks. What was your deal with Dangler? They offered me a fortune to stop growing anything but agave so they could turn it into liquor. The same deal they offered all the farmers. I didn't want to do it, but Beatrice said it would make us rich. I wanted to make her happy, so... Well, now I'm regretting it. With everybody growing booze, making for the dirts, nobody's growing anything to eat. People are starving, getting sick, and none of us have seen any money either. Dingler tells us it's all deposited in our accounts at the bank, but nobody can get any money out of there, just bullets, and damn few of them. Anything new? Different for words for the same shit. You don't care for the leather jerks. Why the mayor ever thought hiring such men was a good idea, I'll never know. Bunch of thieving hoodlums and that dangler is the worst of the lot. The deal I made with him is the dumbest thing I ever done. Wish somebody to do something about them. Like, uh, anything new. Mayor. Dingler. I shook his hand once, made sure I had all my fingers when I was done. I have done the same thing when I introduced him to my wife. What happened between Dangler and your wife? That's what I'd like to know. She's with him more than she's with me these days. Says she's nego negotiating a better deal, but for who? Your name is Dante? They say I'm named after a guy who went through hell to get the woman he loved. Maybe I did it backwards. So you breed possums? Yep, I'm told that before the war they were much smaller and considered pests. Now they're our best livestock. We raise them for the milk and the meat. Tasty any way you slice them, that's for sure. Virgil says you and he used to be an item. I'm not sure if I want to bring that up because that might that might jeopardize my chances of convincing Dante that Beatrice is not not on the level. 
basically if he he suspects that uh, Virgil sent me to do this. So I want to avoid that. We've heard you might have some cat litter you could spare. Cat litter? Do you have cats? Great little creatures, aren't they? Catch mice and rats, and they're cute too. Well, I got some litter, sure, but it's hard to come by these days. If you wanted some, I'd, I think I'd have to ask for a favor in return. What kind of favor? Well, now, I've got my own problems, but this plague that's sweeping through Rhodia just hurts my soul. I love this town, I can't stand to watch it die. So if you could help Dr. Horchata find a cure for the plague, I'll give you some of my litter stash. You haven't done something. If i done anything, you mean risking my life or the lives of the other farmers? I... I ain't had the courage. Too many people been hurt already. But maybe I got something lying around that might help you do what you do best. Tell you what. You get my wife away from these jerks and out of danger, I'll give it to you. I call it the Heyman Pot Potato. What's the Heyman Pot Potato? It's a magnesium infused shaped charge left over from when we enlar enlarged the crater, named after its late inventor. Things blow through buildings, rocks, solid steel, anything. You could blast into the tower's stronghold with it. Hell, you could melt through the walls of Gecko's safe if you wanted to. You get bridges to safety and it's yours. I'm not so, so that worried about the safe. Uh, I took a look at it and my skills seem fairly good. So we should be able to get through that even without a shape charge. Any suggestion where we could put her? Tell you what, I've got a tool shed on my farm. You tell Beatrice I'm finally gonna show her where all my fortunes hid and bring her there. I'll keep her put and give you the hot potato. Then you can do what you want with the leather jerks and she'll be safe and sound. Are you... so you're gonna lock her up in a shed? Yeah, this is, uh, you're both uh, horrible, horrible people. He's been blinded by love, or something. Yeah, I don't think it's love. But he's certainly treating her too as a possession. But he doesn't give a shit about what she wants. Probably did it originally, but no, not any longer. He, I don't think he has too much misgivings about the nature of the woman. It just... He still wants her. Maybe it uh, hasn't really clicked in yet, how bad it, how bad it is. Where exactly did you go? None shall pass. Still a regard. Um, uh, let me talk to you. This guy keeps sipping from a flask he keeps in his jacket. No entry without orders from Lieutenant Dengler. Sorry. Do we have orders? No. I'm not sure if I want to lie. Maybe we should talk with him. If we can get a job, we might be able to get a permission to walk around some of these minefield. But why? There's nothing here. It could be a buried treasure, I suppose.
blow dryer and where is ammunition? Right. Chris Van Grass and someone else. Okay. Safe. We might be able to talk our way into. Let's see if we can do things the legit way. We can break in there, but what's the point? Surely if we don't have a reason to be there or a permission to be there, we're just gonna start a fight. Oh no 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 no. So we can lockpick our way in again. Not sure what that'll help. Surely the people inside will know that I'm not supposed to be there. This still doesn't smell like the others. It just smells like boiling water. A clear liquid drips from its spout. You taste it? Distilled water. These bottles are over a hundred years old, but it looks like they've been cleaned thoroughly and new labels have been stuck over the scratched and cloudy plastic. They read distilled water. And what else? Okay, I wonder how complicated this is gonna get. Does Beatrice live somewhere else instead of Dante's house? Am I am I going to Am I going to have to get some kind of journal out of her? Get a confession? But why the fuck would she confess any confess anything? Uh I doubt Dante would accept any kind of testimony from other people. This is the finest house in Rhodia, though that is not saying much. It's reasonably well maintained in the wake of the jerk's takeover. The person who lives here clearly must have some money or power or both. One second, amigos. This is the boss's house. What do you want here? Heard there's work available. Alright, go on in. I'll talk to Lieutenant Dingler, boss of Biggins. Much too busy to talk to the likes of you. Anything new? Don't even try to talk to Boss of Biggin. He's got no time for a small fry. Engler? Lieutenant runs the day-to-day -day business of the jerks, so Biggin's too big a man to sweat the small stuff. So, yeah, he's not the real boss. May. A bent old woman cleaning the hole. You ain't no jerks. Don't look dumb enough. What are you here for then? We're here to help Rody up. Glad to hear you say it. I miss the mayor ever so much. If he was to get rid of these rascals and bring him back safe, I... Well, I ain't got much. I might be able to point you all to something nice. 
And I just might be able to help you all out too. Mm, how nice are we talking? Plus, let's just say I heard some of these uh, here jerks talking about some cargo they buried near an intersection north of town. Nothing an old lady like me could use, let alone dig up. Too dangerous out there. But folks like you wouldn't be no problem at all. You bring the mayor back to me and kick these fools out of my house, and I'll give you the name of the cross streets. Cross my heart. You don't think much of the leather jerks. They live up to their name, that's for damn sure. Breaking the plates, leaving their mess everywhere, killing folks in the backyard, ain't civilized. Why, I've been Mayor Van Grass's housekeeper for 20 years and I've never had to clean up no dead bodies. Make me sick. How can you help? Well now, if you peek around through that door over there, You'll see all the dengue's boys hanging out in the parlor, putting their feet on the furniture and throwing chicken bones in the fireplace. But being as I am the housekeeper, I got the keys to that door. I could lock him in. Then you wouldn't be able to come running if old dengue was to maybe call for help for some reason, you see? I can't say them boys would stay locked up for long, so you'd best be ready to do something to old dengue after I lock the door. Just give me a sign uh, when you when you are right. So another tool in our toolbox. She reminds me of my mom. I miss my mom. Sniff. Well, you don't mind if I just take a look at this. An org. We need to sell. We need to sell all excess crap pretty much immediately. I don't think it really matters who we sell it to. At the same time, we don't really need the money either. Mobile infantry armor. It's a heavy armor, not a particularly good one either, but could be the best we can get at this point. Be somewhat valuable. We'll begin. Leather Jerk. Steven Dingler. The blinding light of intelligence does not blaze from this man's eyes. It doesn't even a glimmer. Cross a punk rocker and a leprechaun. This is what you would get. Ah, the strangers I've been hearing so much about. Strangers? Can we eat the strangers, Dengi? No, you idiot. We'll not eat the strangers. Yet. Okay, Dengi. Brief history of the Watchtowers. I, I don't care. Old Biggin is a gigantic tank. Can I. Is it okay to talk with him at all? Seems like a child. What you want? We have possum in here. Bye. You look smarter than your average jerk, and more ambitious than the townsfolk of Rodia. Those are qualities I could use. Unless, of course, you think what we're doing here is wrong. Uh. I don't want to. show my hand at this point so I don't think I'll play along. What do you think about Rod? No, no, I'll answer his question. Uh, you're doing the right thing for these people. Spoken like a true pragmatist. Very good. Perhaps we can work together. So let's come to terms. I want your muscle and your brains. What do you want? 
Money? Power? Something else? Uh, I don't give a shit about money. Power might be a good answer because it might allow us to get more access to things here in this organization. Allow us to basically plan our coup better, get access. Um, we're in it for the power. Hmm. A dangerous thing for an underling to want. One always has to watch one's back around such men. Still, there's a lot of room for advancement here in Rodia before you start challenging me or Obigan. All right, are you ready to work? Let's ask about other things. Cat litter? Cat litter? Oh, of course. You're impatient to get to Hollywood before the winter winds clear the radiation belt. Well, how you spend your free time is your concern, but we have no cat litter. You're welcome to what you find in town, but I don't know of any. Perhaps the ugly doctor. Don't they want Beatrice to back Beatrice back at home? Why the fuck would I mention this? What do you think about Dante? The richest and most influential of the farmers that work the crater, and a stubborn man, but I'm working on him. He'll come around in the end. What about the crater? Do you know that before we took over, 90% of that farmland in that crater was devoted to fruits, vegetables, and grazing land for possums? What a waste. Now, 99% is devoted to agave plants, all of which goes directly into the distillery to be turned into booze. And from there, into money in the bank. So much untapped potential in those fields. What were those farmers thinking? What do you think of the townsfolk? They are the sheep, and we are the wolves. It's the natural order of things. Rodia? This town was as open as a hooker's legs before we saved it from the synths. All were welcome. Nobody was turned away. No tariff to get in. All the policies of that ridiculous ridiculously idealistic mayor who believed that sharing Rodia's wondrous bounty would bring civilization back to Los Angeles. Absurd. Making people pay through the nose for Rodia's wondrous bounty will bring civilization back to Los Angeles. That's how the world works. What's the deal with the sins? No idea what their deal is, but I'm glad they were giving Rodia a hard time. It gave us the opportunity we were looking for. What about the mayor? If you don't know enough to get out of the way of progress, progress will run you over. <laughs> or perhaps hang you from a tower for everyone to see what happens when you impede progress. Now he can see the casino I made of his tavern, the distillery I made of his backyard still, the money-making machine I made out of his bank. What about the bank? The intricacies of high finance are, <laughs> no doubt, beyond you. But I'm very pleased with what we've done with the bank. Mr. Gecko has been a helpful and judicious partner in this enterprise. What about the distillery? The opportunity with the most potential in this dreary little town, and its owner, the mayor and his lazy son, did nothing with it. I don't think they produced 20 barrels of booze in a year. I'm working on producing 20 barrels in a week. We'll be rich. Of course, it would be easier if I didn't have to deal with either of them. Right. Casino? A hundred percent profit. It's not so much a casino as a green felt abattoir. And for those who like a different sort of game, there are hookers in the back. Another profitable scheme the townsfolk spend both bullets and seed on my harlots, leaving them weaker in spirit as well as defense. Towers? People talk about the beauty of those towers. Uh, I don't see it. But they're very useful for making an example of someone. What do you think of all begin? I like the symbol of our strength day. and dominance. Hello, this. As long as he talks with Hello, his fists gun. and not his mouth. How are you today? You see what I mean? Hmm. Yeah. What do you want us to do? Right. Good. First assignment: 
just to see how you do with simple instructions. We've convinced almost all the farmers to convert their fields to agave plants, but there are still a few holdouts. One is a woman named Jess, who still wants to grow broccoli or some such garbage. This kind of uncivic behavior cannot be tolerated. I want you to sell these agave cuttings to Jess for 40 bullets and convince her to start planting by any means necessary. Then bring me back what she paid. And if you don't succeed, don't bother coming back. Do well with Jess, and I'll know you're ready for bigger things. Beatrice. Hey, I, I just saw these guys over at Dante's. Did you, my dear? Well, I'm glad they know the way. They may be returning there soon. Carry on, Rangers. Denji, what are you doing don't here? like me talking to strangers. What do you think of this one, Denji? Hmm? Oh, it's, uh, it's fine, babe. Fine. All right. Right, right, right. Doesn't look like we have anywhere really to go unless we want to start working on this town properly, so I think I'll go away. Try to work the microscope and the emergency broadcast we need to answer. How many synths? Only three. 575. Damage. 150 to 200. Armor 9. Jesus fucking Christ. And go there and hit them once. make it count then um, destroy their weapons ability to stay on target uh, we can spend more points on it it's up to six so I could go here at the backstab and basically try to get some cover but this is gonna suck ass alternatively go here take the normal shot and at least we can get some decent cover. Messed up servo. Because cover is something we are gonna need. Proton knife. Grenade. Okay, what exactly can we do? Not much. This is gonna hurt. 200 points of damage, just a single hit. Too close. Or should I go after the lobber? Stop servo. Right.
and then they explode. <sighs> I'm going to make sure that they are not going to get another turn. Dax's turn is next. Uh, we don't want anyone to be in the line of fire, and I'm so fucking afraid that it's going. To, he's going to basically shoot bullet crapper. Just shot me in the back. Air grease. Thanks for the help out there, Rangers. We can usually keep them synth bastards away, but it's always good to have an extra gun or two. Have a nice day, citizen. Yep, they hurt. They hurt a lot. I'm not gonna survive two hits from enemies like these. Right, 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 right. I have an at least one extra assault track one to pick up. I don't think against an uh, weapon like the melee guy, the melee cyber was using is is gonna make any kind of a real difference. If we had something like the best possible, then maybe. But anything below that, uh, then I don't think it matter in the slightest. The tails just slice right through. Yes, I sold it finally. The curse has passed. I. Oh, uh, what? Copy, Ray. Congratulations, Echo One. You've done well. Little perks. Mostly just skill points. Right. Reinforced plating. Uh, soul triple ten. Cannot do it. Uh, weapons fitting maybe. Everything's useful. The thing is, I don't know how high of a level of weaponsmithing do we need. Aid is probably the maximum. Probably. Same with mechanical repair and surgeon. And field medic. But it's still probably... <sighs> we could take more outdoorsmen, so we could be 100% sure we can avoid fights. Uh, Damage versus animals. I have to say, animals have never been too big of a concern. 
they're they're usually fairly easy to disable because they're melee. Evasion bones is can't say it wouldn't help. Miss versus damage reduction. I think miss might help in the help more eventually. Harden isn't exactly gonna hurt, but these are snipers. These need to be focusing on other things. Extra damage toward animals isn't gonna be a bad thing either, but it's more about well what exactly we have an opportunity to train other things so I think the perks might be better to spend there than in basically wasted on something I have no real interest in maybe on an extra action point or something extra damage toward tougher opponents like the robots animals yeah they're too easy but robots and sins seem to have a, a huge amount of armor a huge amount of durability and the weapons are very powerful too so they don't really have a obvious weakness that we could uh, exploit. Uh, assault rifles in. Ah, right. I don't really recall where the emergency situation was, but it was on the line with the Angel Oracle. Santa Monica. Yeah, because we have an emergency on, I don't think I'll go with the shrines or anything else. Just or go after caches or anything. You see people belonging to the Robinson group approaching your position? Uh what? Encounter eventually can't save. What is this? Robinson guns here. Where? What are Robinsons? Are they're hostile. They're they're in, they're in a position with great cover. Um, not sure where I should even start to engage them. Yeah, they, there's a lot of them, but they're in good positions. Um, cutter, Commander, Kato, Sharpshooter, Gunslinger, Gunslinger, Basher, Sprayer. Prayers tend to be shotgun users. Hopefully they'll shoot her. She has decent armor and protection. Uh, extra protection from the cover. Her initiative seems to be quite nice though. Widowmakers. 45 Widowmakers. Combat Machete. But go for cover. I really probably should. Eight points of damage. Ok, 
Okay, this might be a great place to use one of those uh, missile launchers we're trying to dying to get rid of, really. Mm, maybe not a low rocket. Could get three, and without that much boss, could basically get two kills. Okay. Ooh, the cover disappeared. No, no it didn't. Just jump the gun a little bit. Um Barb wire bat. Need to get the sprayer, I think. Ooh, he might die. Yes! Sharpshooter, 160 points of damage. So if we take another one of those, we're dead. We need to attack the sharpshooter. Not exactly great hits. Basher is not a concern. Mm, no, neither are the cutters, really. Um, that is. the real threats. You need to die. You can hit twice maybe? Uh, that's easily killed by someone else. Right, I can make a backstab at him too. I've explained Bice into the Robinson Commando for 289 points of damage, splitting her ripcage. Right, uh, you need to die. Not bad. Debuffs, 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 debuffs. And decapitation strike. This is a. Uh, every little hit just does. 100 to 200 points of damage at this point. So damage reduction is certainly something we need to work on. Uh, I, I don't think that it's just about our sort of lowish armor class. We can a little bit uh, 
we can work on that a little bit. We'll be cautioning future kid. Mood ring. Lovely. A vibrator. Oh, we have a beetle though, so. Singing bass, really? Blue polo shirt. 45 Widowmaker. Yeah, armor penetration around 5, so if we would use a heavier armor and had perks, we could reduce the damage a little bit. But uh, these are not particularly top performance. Work genius, singing bass. We'll need to work on this. It's just that against opponents like these, it's not a bad idea to have the armor. Yeah, they have nothing. Just... Who are the Robinsons? Seems like it's sort of a gang, then. Mysterious shrines. Ash. We seem to be hitting some kind of radiation barrier here. Radiation level 5. It's still deadly. Okay. Echo 1. This is Santa Fe Base. Found another frequency, but I... I don't know what to make of this one. Not like the others at all. Seems like it's just a bunch of advertisements. I'll patch one through so you can see what I mean. What's going on here? Are you the ones from the radio? Save my son. Uh, what's going on here? A wiry pale man in the black pompadour wig and red polyester leisure suit that is the uniform of the preachers of the Salvation Church. His fingers twitch on the trigger of his gun and eyes are full of zeal. Richard J. Lay Jinto Well now, who is this? Itching to hear the word of the Lord, Prince? Well, come on and join us. Just keep your guns stowed and we'll all get along just fine. What Lord are you talking about? Friend, if you don't know who the Lord Jesus Christ is, then you are in the right place. You're laying down his law right here and now. Stick around and you'll learn a thing or two. What law? What Jesus says is law, and Jesus says sinners must be saved. Well, the only way we know to save them is to send them to his judgment in heaven. And we do that one bullet at a time. Hallelujah, brothers and sisters. And what is this man's sin? Friends, this man is an eater of shellfish. A deviant who takes the flesh of aquatic creatures lacking fins or scales into his mouth. As prescribed in Deuteronomy 49-10. to He is an abomination and a horror that must be scowled from the face of this earth. As much all who shelter him and his ilk. Well, the man has a fair point. Shellfish are disgusting.
I want to shoot the sinner. Uh, I don't. Why would I say that? You're the abomination, fanatic. Leave this place or die. Uh, this might. Uh, this might avoid the fighting here. I'm not sure what this would let us do. Because it's. I mean, if we want the guy to die, we probably don't have to really do anything. So why would I need to kiss ass him to let us do the killing? Uh, I'll do the hard ass because it seems like it would be a potential. We could basically scare them off in this situation, although they're fanatic, so... You're the abomination, fanatic. Leave this place or die. Those are Satan's words, coming from your mouth, friend. Kill the sinner, right. So what's the difference? I sort of thought it was total waste, but... Uh, it, uh, as, and it is. The question is, what's the difference? And if you could sort of see maybe the skill requirements, you might be able to gauge the difference. Commandos, gunslingers. Oh, gunslingers are the worst. Oh my! They have a huge amount of health, over 300. Gonna need two hits. Uh, I think I'll just do a normal attack. We can attack the rear, so we'll get bonuses. Probably normal attacks are more than enough. Yeah, because I, I think if the fight starts like this, we are not gonna be in a good position. I need to be fairly close here because I'll provide all the debuffs to the enemy. Yeah, we're not gonna survive this type of fight. 14 hit points. If he gets. Uh, PZP gets hit by anything, she will not just go down, she's gonna be permanent dead. So we, we're going to have to put a proper healing item on her. What else? We need to be in cover too. No, getting around that. This cannot be your location. Uh, some cover somewhere. <laughs> Missed a bar. Again, need cover. This is this is fucking bad. I need to take a, oh uh, I think I should go for kills. Non-commandos, okay. 
whose turn is next? It's the preacher. Can't do anything about the preacher. I think I'll just go for the kills. Well, as little as we can do them. They're just. They're just so fucking tough. Right, it's a single normal hit does nothing to them. Absolutely nothing. Uh, I might be able to get a single attack in on this guy. Alternatively, I could ignore the preacher. He has a good weapon. Uh, what way are you looking at? Yeah, I, I don't... I think we're gonna have to try the other conversation option. next to Gunslinger and he can openly shoot at multiple of our guys. Uh. Non lover, okay. Uh. We can take care of her, things aren't that bad. Uh, I think we're better off not taking too many chances. But uh, she's the least dangerous. We need to focus on taking care of these two. It uh, doesn't really matter what the cost is, but we need to be able to do more accurate shots. Pistol wielders are, have the advantage if I go toe-to-toe. Uh, -to -toe. Why don't I have any accuracy on them? I mean, I had better accuracy there. There just aren't any good options. Missing isn't helping. Right. Ugh. No good options. Ralphie's in a serious risk of dying. I suppose we should take care of you. I can only get a single hit on her. Uh, I still think that's a better choice. The lover while close by isn't really a threat. The gunslingers are much, much, much more dangerous. So I'm gonna slice her hands.
shaky arm, right? Ruined weapon. Ooh, ooh, not bad, not bad at all. Ralphie, you need to just get the fuck out. Don't care what you do. Anyone can. Uh, Ralphie is not gonna just get a little bit hurt. Ralphie is gonna fucking die if anything is hurt him. So. Uh, the breach preacher is confused. Good, good. Uh, I still don't want to shoot my own guys, but we need to maneuver somewhere else. I'm providing the debuffs on the enemies though, so and I'm crippled, so I can't move that much. This is gonna hurt. This is the last hurt we're gonna experience. Except the fucker killed Havoc. <sighs> Luckily, there she shot the creature twice, so all works out in the end, I guess. What do you do? Do we focus on the lobber? It's not like I... I don't know. I... I think I can probably kill these two before they get to do anything. Havoc can easily kill that one and uh, injure the other none. I get closer. I'll just take normal shots. Hmm, I could kill her. I can easily kill that one. Uh, yeah. Problem is the gunslinger here. But this is immediate damage coming our way. Back attack, but normal attack, so can't do shit. Shut a townie. You're next. Can't get I can't kill her. And kill her. gonna get one chance at this. I can't get into good cover. I want to go closer to so I can provide debuffs. This isn't cover. Ah, that. I think I'll already providing. Don't die, don't die, don't die. Fuck. She won't last long. Oh, 
Right, this is a good nasty fight. Forced to start of the fight in an unfavorable position. Uh, did I get something out of this? Thanks for shaving my son. Like Nudie magazine. Candle stub. Shotgun shells. Totally worth this. Bag of zeolite. Okay. The ultimate in radiation is shielding. Rubber toy, shiny metal helmet, 45. Ah, okay. Extra strength would help survive these situations. Need to buy the health packs. Although this was a very, very unfavorable fight. So it shouldn't be this bad. Wait, what else can we get? Oh, Master Medic Pack. Field Medicaid required. That's a good one. Very good. I think that's pretty much the best you can get. And it is good. It is really, really good. A Kevlar suit. Uh, I'll, uh, someone other than the melee guy can take advantage of this. It's not that crippling as far as mobility is concerned, so a sniper rifle or uh, someone who doesn't really have to maneuver that much. I'm sort of... ooh, what? This safe has no mechanical tumblers or wheels accessible from the outside. Its locking mechanism appears to be controlled by a high-tech electronic system. It is... it is... Very hard to see you being able to open this. Did I... What the hell happened? There was conversations at the... End of the fight? Okay. Dan, I was so scared. It's okay, Mike. It's all over now. Thank you, Rangers. You saved our lives. Thank you, Rangers, you saved my boy. I'll never forget this. Come on, Mike. Let's go butter up some sea cu cucumbers. Thanks for saving my sons, Rangers. So, it ain't really much done. This is, uh... This is... Almost impossible to get, even if we had perfect skills. So, about as good as it's going to get. And the fighting situation was about as bad as it's going to get. The enemies weren't particularly tough, but uh, strong close range weaponry versus long longish range weaponry no, uh, couldn't take advantage of good cover because so many enemies all over the place, and we do have two energy weapon users, so.
while good at disabling, no better really than the others. And no real strengths against the opponents here. Let's come back here later. We just get zero light out of this. I don't recall how much we need it. Ooh. Poster. 15%. Holy shit. Uh, I, I don't want to walk away from toasters, but 15% is pretty fucking low. Uh, I don't want to walk away from toasters, though. I'm gonna scum it, and then I'm gonna end things there. Maybe the key sass option would have been better. Hard ass is sort of. I think I can understand now how it works. Uh, if you don't use the conversation options, they're going to just go ahead with the execution you're supposed to get. So it's going to be sort of a failure. With the hard ass, you can force them to fo ignore the townsfolk and focus on you. With the key sass. I suppose they'll at least stop what they're doing temporarily. It might have a follow-up option. Alternatively, if it stops for a moment, you you can you can position your guys. But uh, I'm not sure if it would help us too much. There, it's still still a fact that a couple of shots will kill us um, if they hit. If we want good armor protection, we'll have to basically go to an armor that more or less has armor class 10. And that's it. If we want to use the lighter ones, we're going to have to settle for a little bit less. And I don't think for most opponents it makes too much of a difference. And the heavier armor can be a problem if we face energy weapon using guys. And it's a real big fucking problem then. Okay, I'm gonna scum through this. I just don't want to give it up right now. And we have to come back here for the safe, I suppose. The, the thing is, the toaster items have to be, you need to find a use for them. So it's much better to have them early on, so when you encounter people, you basically see through their dialogue options. Uh, can you have a use for this uh, or not? I, I, I would at least like to keep it to a minimum where we have to go around just talking to people in a desperate attempt to see if this particular item could possibly be something. It, is... it just... You just don't want to deal with that, okay? Holly. Minus two speed, plus two perception, plus one awareness. I think you get combat initiative for awareness. Perception gives you uh, action points. Speed is just speed. Can lower your action points naturally. Mm, Holly has potential. Puka shell necklace. This was the item that was here. The others were extra. Plus one charisma. Less critical chance. Uh... What? So it's sort of a worse version of the spike color. Oh, okay. 
Perception is a skill, not an attribute. Awareness is there. So you're basically trading action points for initiative. This is not a good thing. It weighs 10 pounds too. Agave cut. And we all agree that these things are only for douchebags and old burnouts. I don't know. Can we? Yeah, I. Seemingly just utility items. I don't know. Congratulations, Echo. We could probably get something useful at this point. Uh, maybe the hard ass. Yeah, we can get the plate to ten. The thing is, I I'd really would like to use something else than the danger star. Like what? Maybe the ring. Right, because we can only attack twice anyway. So we're now in a position where we're much open left with extraction points that we have nothing to do with. So maybe I could push the initiative to. Yeah, at least it goes to 20. 15, 13, 12, 20, 11, 12, 11. Almost twice what some of these guys have. I wonder if it starts to get really noticeable at certain values. Right, either way, we're gonna end things here. Can't do anything with the save. Ah, it's just. That would be really, really goddamn desperate. Uh, microscope. Yeah, we're gonna have to go after the microscope. 